few weeks ago, my uh, wife and I went for a walk with our little dog who um, loves the snow <laughs> more than any dog should. <laughs> Good thing she lives in Minnesota, I guess. Um, nice little path, goes around a pond, there's a library by the side, kind of winds around. You get around to, the, uh, to this nice secluded spot, and you know what you see there? You see some ugliness. You see some hate. Now the city knows about this. Oh, well, sorry about that. The city knows about this. They've, uh, they've got people out there with brushes, right? Crew that um, could be doing something more productive. They could be fixing the streets or, or whatever. So in their spare time, right, they go out there, they scrub away, they spend a few hours or the better part of a day, and they create a nice blank canvas for the uh, next teenager with a spray can and a, and a bad day. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> Park and Rec put out a call for volunteers. And I think you know how many they got. It's a nice round number. <laughs> now don't get me wrong. Some of the stuff out there is not bad. There's some good graffiti. I don't know if this is good or not, but at least the guy put some effort into it, right? <laughs> this is one behind the pizza place I go to. I like it. You know, it's got a positive message. It was hastily done, sure. I'm not sure he spelt dream right. <laughs> but I like it. Makes me smile. This is a utility box down the street from me. Now somebody spent some serious time on that, right? Probably art, by any definition. I don't know if you call it graffiti, if you call it street art. It's well done. It's not hard to do better work than that, right? So the idea, the, the solution we're proposing here, what we're pursuing, is we're going to have volunteers. We've already got them, or some of them anyway. Some of them are artists. Some of them are just local citizens, right? And they can do better work than that, what you see right there. They might do a mural. They might do something, just a pink ribbon, or something like that. Maybe, maybe just the word smile, right? But we've got the advantage. We're not out there dodging cops, worrying about the next set of headlights. We can take our time. We don't have to do work at night. We don't have to work alone. We can have friends come over, and we can have fun doing this. So, what I want you to do is if you live far away from here, talk to your park and rec. They probably would love you to start this there. If you live somewhere closer, well, be ready because we're going to be doing this. We've got permission. We're going to be rolling. We need you. If you want to help out, let us know. We're going to start small. We're going to take our time, but we're going to dream big. Thank you. <laughs>